Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Are you ready to lift your way to a stronger, healthier body? You've come to the right place. Lift is the home barbell workout series that's gonna help you reach your goals and take your fitness to the next level. For the lift series, we are using our barbells. However, you can mimic and complete the entire workout series with a pair of dumbbells too. Lift series is all about smart strength training with barbells that'll produce real results. All you need to do is follow along to each and every workout in the lift series in the order that we release them. During our lift series, we'll bring you targeted barbell workouts structured to get you stronger, maximize your gains, and reduce your body fat in the shortest period possible. It's very important to make sure you have clear space around you free from trip hazards. Also have a bottle of water with you and take a sip between sets and stay hydrated. Today's workout will be a full body workout using your barbell or using your dumbbells at home as an alternative. Our full body workout allows you to target multiple muscle groups in a single session. Now let's get started. This is a traditional barbell bench press. You can see we've gone nice and wide with our hands. We're dropping those elbows down nice and wide as well and making sure that it's vertical movement on the barbell with ample control, particularly on the eccentric component of the exercise on the way down. Make sure your lower back is nice and flat. You can always elevate your feet to flatten your back if you find that you're arching. This is a close grip bench press. So you can see our arms are parallel at the top of the exercise and we're keeping those elbows tucked in by our ribs as we drop down nice and controlled and pushing back up into that vertical line. So you'll get good emphasis, particularly in your lateral triceps and the center of your chest. And it's a great variation from your wide chest press.
This exercise is a traditional barbell pullover. So it's a 90 degree rotation at the shoulders and you want to make sure you don't go past that horizontal line in order to protect your rotator cuffs. There's no additional bend of the elbows. It remains soft straight throughout the whole exercise. And it's really important to keep your lower back pinned against the bench so that you're protecting your lower back, especially when you're extending out into that horizontal arm position. This is a barbell push-up. It's much trickier than it looks because you have to balance the barbell underneath you. So this is going to take really good core strength. You can see we're starting with wide arms and making sure our elbows are nice and wide as well so we get maximum engagement of the chest. Keep your tailbone marginally tucked in. And if you have trouble with this exercise, do it on your knees the way Steph's doing it. Don't give me short reps. Let's go full range.
This exercise is a bent over row. Start with your knees bent and the hinge of the hips, making sure that your back's remaining nice and flat. Let's lift the barbell vertically to your chest while keeping your elbows tucked in by your ribs. You can see we have an underhand grip and we're working full range of motion. So make sure you get all the way to the bottom of the exercise and then pull up steadily until you're at your sternum. Keep looking at the floor in front of you to keep your neck aligned with your back. This is a bent over T row. Start with your knees slightly bent. Make sure that you have a hinge of your hips and that your backs are remaining nice and flat. Pull the barbell up vertically, making sure that you're keeping wide elbows. So when you get to the top of the exercise, there should be a straight line from elbow to elbow. Drop the bar down vertically with ample control and make sure you exercise full range of motion.
this is a combination exercise. We're starting with an overhand row and then we're standing up and going into an upright row. So start the exercise with the hinge of your hips, making sure your back's remaining nice and flat. Lift the barbell up vertically, keeping your elbows tucked in by your side as you do that overhand row. And then stand up and go for another rep, vertical movement, this time all the way up to your chin with your elbows out. Standing shoulder press, this is one of our basics. Start with a really good base. Feet should be our shoulder width. Knees should be nice and soft. And we're pushing up in a vertical line. Make sure you're exercising ample control, both on the way up and the way down. And keep the barbell close to your chin. The further you come forward, the more pressure you're going to put on your rotator cuff. So let's avoid that. Like most upright exercises, you want to make sure that your knees are soft and your hips are nice and heavy and there's no movement there.
This exercise is an underhand front raise. Now, you can see we're starting with our feet at shoulder width. Our knees are nice and soft. We're lifting that weight up by rotating the shoulders 90 degrees and making sure that we're keeping our elbows soft straight. Be careful, try not to push forward with your hips. Try and stay nice and heavy on them and make sure they remain nice and still. Good control on the way up as well as the way down. These are barbell shrugs, but you can see we're lifting up and then circling out on the way back down. And this is going to prevent you from straining your traps. Where people go wrong with this exercise is they lift with their elbows. So make sure that we're not doing that. Focus on getting your shoulders as close to your ears as you can and then circle out. Knees are soft and there's no unnecessary movement in the torso.
These are some barbell biceps curls. Let's start standing nice and straight, making sure your feet are parallel at shoulder width, your knees are soft, and your hips are heavy underneath you. Work full range of those biceps curls and try to keep your elbow as still as you can keep it. So let's try not to rock back and forth with our elbows. The other thing to watch for is make sure there's no movement in your hips. You may have the tendency to push forward with your hips to assist. This will put some pressure on your lower back. It's also cheating. So let's make sure we're not doing that. This exercise is a triceps dip. You can see we're using our bench and we're staying nice and close to it. The mistake people make here is they tend to push too far forward with their hips and that becomes a rotator cuff problem. So let's try to avoid that. If you need to, you can push off your feet a little bit and get a little bit of assistance from that squat. So this will help you get through the whole set. Make sure your elbows are tucked in behind you and try to keep your torso nice and flat. So no hunching of your back.
This exercise is a barbell skull crusher. So you can see we're starting with vertical arms, nice and parallel, and the upper part of the arm is remaining static. So it's just a 90 degree or even more bend at the elbows and you're bringing the barbell to your forehead. Now make sure you've got ample control on the way down and stop just before you get to your skull. Keep your elbows tucked in and make sure they don't hang out during this exercise. This is a sumo deadlift, much like a Romanian deadlift, but we're doing it with our feet wider and our toes pointing out at 45 degrees. So compared with an RDL, you're going to feel this more in your inner thighs and in your outer glutes as well. Make sure there's a vertical drop of the barbell and then drive your hips forward and lift up vertically as well. Keep your back nice and flat and try to keep your neck aligned with your upper body as well.
flying back around again. This is a traditional barbell squat. You can see we're doing it with parallel feet at shoulder width and we're getting nice and deep into those squats but we're keeping our posture upright throughout the exercise. So keep looking in front of you. This will keep your neck alignment and it'll also encourage your posture to remain upright. You've got to stay nice and heavy on your heels. So if you're changing the balance of your weight onto the ball of your foot, you're doing it wrong. Slide back around again. This exercise is a Romanian deadlift. It's essentially a hinge of the hips. Start with your feet parallel at shoulder width, hinge forward and drop the barbell down vertically. The best way to do this is push your butt behind you and then drive forward with your hips and work your way up, making sure you're holding that vertical line of the barbell both on the way down and the way up as well. Focus on the back and forth, not on the up and down.
This exercise is an alternate reverse lunge. I favor working reverse lunges because they're a lot easier on your knees than stepping forward into a lunge. The main form guide to watch for is make sure that your lunges are nice and lengthy and try to keep your front shin bone as vertical as you can keep it throughout the set. Another really good point is to try to keep your upper body as upright as you can keep it. So try not to lean forward too much. This is a barbell weighted standing side leg raise. You can see we're using the left leg on this occasion. Keep your arm extended and keep the weight of the barbell against the outside of your thigh and then swing the active leg out in a lateral motion, making sure the knee remains stiff and making sure that you're leading with your ankle. Your toes need to be pointing forward the whole time. So if they flip out, it's because your hips are in the wrong position. So make sure you make that adjustment and keep both feet facing forward the whole time.
All right, let's turn around and work that side leg raise with the opposite side, with the right leg this time. Let's go through the form guide. Make sure that your torso is remaining static. Keep your arm extended and keep the weight of the barbell outside of your thigh. Swing out with a stiff, active leg. Your support leg should be soft, so we've got to make sure we protect the knee. And then lead with your ankle as you push. Try not to turn your toes outwards at all. All right, well done for completing today's lift home barbell workout and progressing through this series. If you enjoyed the workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know how you did. We love hearing from you and hearing about your fitness journey. Don't forget to spread the love and share these workouts with your friends and family. If you're done working out today, then you should move on to cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. And of course, we look forward to bringing you another lift home barbell workout shortly. You guys take care of yourselves and each other.